Trunk 65 over the 13.50. We go to the two. Pine Barra from the David Murphy Stable at Eagle Farm. Justin Huxtable the ride. Gate two, 59 and a half kilos. Yeah, coming back after an unplaced run in the Group 3, gun sinned over 1,600 metres. A lot of weight, but nicely drawn, and this is a much more suitable class for it. Uh, strong chance. Three Thorpe from the NML Nisham Stable. Ryan Maloney rides gate 7, 58 kilos. I've got a lot of time for this fast knit three-year-old. He's had five starts for two wins and three placings. He's really impressive in scoring at the Sunshine Coast, beating Smart City, who's uh, come out and won since. Uh, but the five weeks between runs is my only question mark, but a horse with ability. Forrest Twyford from the John Hubbard Stable at Ipswich. Andrew Spinks to ride gate 11.58 kilos. The blinkers go on again. The winkers come off first time. Yeah, two wins uh, from 13 starts, both here over the 13.50. So he likes this course here. He's coming back when he uh, from a 1,600-metre race at Dooman when he led. So this is a much more better, suitable uh, distance for him. Five is Hoot and Holler from the Robert Heathcote Stable. Martin Harley to ride gate 3.57 kilos. And she's stepping up in distance. She's had two runs back from a spell, both over a th- thousand metres, both in good company at the Sunshine Coast. She's got a soft draw here and I think she can park just off the speed and represents each way value. Six Lady Ladar from the Paul Jenkins table at the Sunshine Coast, Mark Duplessis to ride gate 13, 56 and a half kilos. A lightly race filly but she's got ability. She was a first up winner here in April over the 13.50 and then ran down the line in the Queensland Guineas. Uh, two months between runs but does race well fresh. Seven Jerry Mander from the Stuart Kendricks table, Bailey Wheeler, the pickup ride from gate six takes one and a half off down to 54 and a half and one of our leaders in this race uh, comes here after running third over 1400 meters at bow desert will be up on the speed but this is a slightly harder assignment eight glide on by from the tony gollan stable ben thompson rides gate eight 55 and a half kilos maiden winner here over 1350 and then first up at Dooman found the line late in a, an unsuitable 1100 meter race probably will get back we'll be running home strongly 10 the second at port C from the Jack Bruce stable at the Sunshine Coast. Samantha Collett rides gate 10, 55 kilos. Tongue tie off first time. Winkers off first time. And a crossover noseband off again. Yeah, big watch here. Uh, having a first Queensland start and a good stable. She's won one from 11, but has been placed on four other occasions. And Money Chargey tells us that there's uh, there's some fancy there for her. So a big watch. We'll have a look at her in the parade ring, but she's coming up to us now. Uh, you know, seems to be looking all right there. It's nice and bright. The 11 is Yeller from the Tony Gollan Sable at Eagle Farm. And Jones rides gate 12.55 kilos. Blinkers off first time. Yeah, another little three-year-old filly that's lightly raced, uh, stepping up in distance. The 13.50 will suit. But from that barrier draw, Ange will probably have to go back and just look for luck. 12, Lady Falvalon from the Matt Dunn Stable at Mawillambar. Michael Carl rides gate 154.5 kilos. Two runs both. Have back, both been on the poly and has raced well there. But this is a stronger race, but is nicely drawn. 13, Enterprise Lassie from the John Shelton Stable at Grafton. CJ Graham to ride gate five, takes one and a half off down to 52 and a half. Resuming since February is a 1,600 metre winner here. Ran third on a Grafton barrier trial recently, uh, but uh, this is a fairly tough race. 14, Shape and Power from the Chris Munn Stable. Talia Finland to ride gate nine, takes two off down to 52. Uh, another lightly raced horse with ability resumed at uh, the Sunshine Coast and ran third there over 1,200 metres. Quick uh, step up now to the 1350. Uh, need a little bit of luck from that barrier draw, but she's got ability. And the number two, uh, Payne Barra, 11 yellow. Well, a good race coming up, Damien. Um, yeah, plenty of money for a few at a price here. Uh, your numbers again? Yeah, so my numbers are 5, 3, 2, 11. I'm uh, four, two, three, fourteen. So uh, yeah, we're both going a little bit wide here. But Thorpe is your favourite, uh, two eighty, now out to two ninety. But uh, there has been support for a few at a bit of a price. Yeah, Twyford's been thirty one into into thirteen. Your on top selection, uh, my on top selection. Hooten Holler fourteen out to nineteen, back into seventeen. Lady Ladar thirteen into eight dollars fifty. So yeah, you're right. There's a, a few chances here as they're loading up well. Yeah, only one or two to load. Let's head straight upstairs to Jared Wessel for the last at Ipswich. They look to race with a few chances. Thorpe back to two ninety now, and there's specking for a number of runners to beat him. Pine Barra comes up, and the field of 13 are set for the last here at Ipswich. We are ready to jump. Over at the 1350, light on. 
racing now. Pine Barra came out a couple behind them. Hooten Holler didn't get away all that well. Yala shows good speed, but also driving through Enterprise Lassie. There's Shape and Power on the way forward as well. Thorpe behind them third, then glide on by. Lady Falbel on fifth, the rail. Next then, Jerry Mander out wide from Sean Teese. Further back, Hooten Holler. And then came Yala, who had to ease to be on midfield from Twyford. And then Lady Ladar, Pine and Barra, the second at Port C, last of all, 10 off the speed. Shape and Power takes the front, a half mile left to go, led two lengths, the race favourite, Thorpe. Posse's up well, second for Maloney. Two for the back, then came Enterprise Lassie, the inside of Glide on by. Two lengths, Jerry Manda, next Lady Falvalon. Uh, they were followed further back by Shantese, getting going three wide into it at the 600. And then Yala from Twyford, well back, Pie and Barra with Hoot and Holler uh, towards the end, Lady Ladar. And the second at Port C will turn in last. Up to the final turn, 3.75 to go. Shape and power in front, but Thorpe is bearing down on it on the outside now. They were followed then by Glide on by. Behind them was Enterprise Lassie. Jerry Mander to the outside, but he says go on, Thorpe. And the favourite raced away in the last. Thorpe put two lengths on Shape and Power, then Glide on by. They line up the miners, but it's all Thorpe. Get in the queue if you're on Thorpe. The crowd cheers at home, and Thorpe won by two and a half. Yala flashed from the back to grab second. Lady Ladar ditto for third. Third, then Pie and Barra. Next in was Shape and Power. Further back, Never Dance. And then came Twyford, followed by Glide on by. Behind them, Enterprise Lassie. And then came Sean Teese, Lady Falvalon. Hoot and Holler was the final one over the line. Well, they weren't catching Thorpe there. Ryan Maloney, Annabelle Nisham, ease down. One with a little bit of arrogance. Uh, gee, very impressive, Damien Thorpe. Certainly was. Uh, was up on the speed all the way and was cruising at the top of the straight, put shape and power away. And a couple of horses from back in the field ran home very strongly late in the race, including Yella. This horse was really impressive morning at the Sunshine Coast five, almost six weeks ago. And that win today was just as impressive. And uh, I said to you before the race, uh, I think this is a Saturday grade horse. And I think he's indicated that again today. So Annabelle Nisham with the horse that's lightly raced now. Six starts for three wins and, uh, and three placing so this is going places this horse and a, uh, a very uh, arrogant win very nice win son a fast net rock he was just way too good for them gee there were some nice runs from the back yellow as you said uh really winding up late uh there was another one that came with its run with yellow i just missed it in the run on um with the yellow out wider, but we'll stand by. Ryan Maloney was on the favourite. Just got a little bit easy late. Might be a few hard luck stories in that too. Uh, there was a Lady, few. Lady Delar was also out very wide. I think yep. it was hitting the line strongly. It's very prominent in that photo for third. But uh, yeah, Yellow's run was very good. Lady Delar's run was very good. But it'll be a good form race, this one. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Lady Ladar, as you said, has run third. So numbers here will be three, 11. Uh, six, Lady Ladar has run third third the 14 uh shape and power for chris months has run fourth but it yeah, may be some excuses but uh, really the only excuse is they weren't good enough to beat thorpe today because it uh it was not getting beaten no and and uh ryan rode like a good horse too jumped it out said you can see it second there coming towards the home turn cruising up on shape and power who had set a pretty good tempo out in front and just as they get to the point of the turn you can see that thorpe's got the leader covered it was what was going to come from back in the field, but he puts about two lengths on them as they uh, as they flatten for the run of the judge and might seem to win with also just a little bit in reserve as well. Well, we thought it was yours initially. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just different colour cap, really, yeah, but yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, Thorpe just way too good for them. That rounds out the day's racing at uh, Ipswich 3, 11, 6 and 14, the numbers. Uh, pleasure to work with you today, Damien. Hopefully oh, we found Michael. a few winners for yeah. them and uh, a good day all around track race really well yeah well uh, well the quaddy was uh, finally got the quaddy up i don't know what's going to pay but it's nice to get a result anyhow there and uh the track played really well and yeah no likewise michael great to work with you and uh, uh let's have, there's a few more meetings together we can share it was great fingers crossed well done mate we'll go and have a cold beer but for now we'll take a short break on sky thoroughbred central on the other side lewis willoughby mickey wallace with the lucky last race nine out of scone a very good afternoon from ipswich